Hi, this is Richard McKenzie. I'm co-author of Microeconomics for MBAs. Uh, this video module is going to be on the elasticity of demand, or the responsiveness of consumers uh, to a price change. It's extraordinarily important for business people to recognize that demand curves uh, slope downward. But they also need to recognize that um, they can slope downward in, in different ways, and that there can be different responsiveness on the part of, of consumers. In the case of this graph, which you have seen multiple times uh, before, the demand curve is sloping downward, and that's, uh, that's no big news. That is, at a price of P1, the quantity consumed is, is uh, Q1. Now, if the price goes from P1 to P2, the quantity goes from uh, Q1 uh, to Q2. There's been a fairly substantial uh, increase in the quantity given uh, the price uh, reduction. But suppose the demand curve looked uh, uh, differently. That is, it still sloped downward, but uh, took on uh, this particular shape. That is, suppose that the demand curve is D2. Notice that you start off with the same quantity, Q1, uh, at a price of P1. But when the price falls from P1 to Q1, the quantity demanded goes from Q1 uh, to Q2. Uh, the increase in quantity demanded is much less in, for D2 than for uh, D1. Consumers are relatively more responsive with regards to this demand curve uh, than this one. And this uh, differences in responsiveness can have a, a significant influence uh, on pricing decisions, primarily because the responsiveness of consumers can uh, influence just how much uh, revenues uh, change, either up or down, um, when the price is lowered or when the price is, is raised. Now, the responsiveness of consumers that's uh, indicated here you know, build, feeds into our concept of, of uh, elasticity of demand. The elasticity of demand is simply the responsiveness of consumers to, to a price uh, change. And there are two basic categories of elasticity. There is an elastic demand, which means that consumers are relatively responsive to a price change. And there is an elastic demand, uh, in, under which consumers are relatively unresponsive uh, to a, a price change. Now, these definitions of elasticity of demand don't uh, get us very far. But we noticed in, in the previous uh, graph that elasticity can, in fact, uh, feed into an effect on total revenue. And we can distinguish elastic and inelastic demand um, uh, by what happens to total uh, revenue. Under an elastic demand, if the price goes down, quantity is going to change by so much that the total revenue is going to go up. By the same token, if the price goes up, the responsiveness of consumers is going to be so great that the total revenues uh, goes down. And of course, uh, we get total revenues simply by multiplying price times quantity. If, if you have a price reduction, total quantity consumed goes up substantially, you can imagine that total revenues can go up. Uh, or put it another way, if in fact total revenues go up, we have an elastic demand. If the price goes up and there's a great response on quantity, that is a decrease in quantity, total revenues can in fact uh, go down. There is also elastic demand. Under an elastic demand, a reduction in the price is going to lead to a, um, a decrease in total uh, revenue. An increase in the price is going to lead to an increase uh, in, in total revenue. Now there's one uh, intermediate case which we refer to as unitary elastic demand. The name uh, will be, why we name it that it will become evident in a, in a few uh, minutes. But this is a case in which it doesn't matter whether the price goes down or up, uh, the total revenues remain uh, uh, constant. 
Now, while this gets us uh, some place, it helps us su suggest that in the case of this graph, uh, this demand curve is inelastic, and this demand curve is elastic, uh, simply because this demand curve is relatively more responsive than, than or consumers are relatively more responsive under this demand curve uh, than this one. And uh, it's more likely that a price reduction will lead to an increase in revenue under this one uh, than that one. But there is an even better way of, of defining uh, elasticity of demand. It's called the elasticity uh, coefficient. Here, the elasticity coefficient is the percentage change in quantity over the percentage change uh, in in price. If this coefficient is um, greater than one, it is elastic. And that's understandable because if in fact you lower the price by a given amount and the percentage change in the quantity uh, exceeds the percentage uh, reduction in, in, in the price, then total revenues can in fact go up, which makes this consistent with our previous analysis. Um, if the elasticity coefficient is less than one, then you have an inelastic demand. And here you lower the price by a given amount. And if the percentage change in the quantity is less than uh, the percentage uh, reduction in the price, then this coefficient, I mean, this ratio is going to be less than one. And you can imagine that the revenues would in fact go down. You have a sm uh, you have a relatively small increase in the quantity when you have a relatively large increase uh, in the price. Revenues are bound to go down. If, in fact, the coefficient is equal to 1, then you have our unitary elastic uh, demand. And, of course, uh, the unitary elastic definition that we gave you mom moments ago uh, comes from the fact that the co coalition, coefficient uh, is the same. Now notice that the elasticity coefficient is this ratio, the percentage change in the quantity over the percentage change in the price. This coefficient has nothing to do with the slope of a curve. Uh, slope is, is something else and we can uh, show that by reference uh, to a linear demand curve. 